Hi friends, it's Tracy from the Financial Freedom Diary and today we are back to do my cash envelope stuffing for the month of February. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe below. Hope you all are having a super fantastic Tuesday. Um, I was able to get to the bank on Saturday and as I had predicted, <laughs> I was going to leave the house. Um, at some point I did do some work, but I left out because my son had told me that the shopping center where I do my laundry that there's no power down there so of course I go to Lowe's and it was a mess just a mess everywhere I went so yeah I think what was it about 80,000 we're still without power when I had checked the website um, it's very very sad I know I've been without power for multiple days like that and it is not fun so I do have my little cash breakdown little sheet here to tell me how to break everything up. And so for the month of February, I took out $765. And that is going to be all the cash I received for the month. And so let's make sure I have all my money. So this one, two, three, four. And I apologize for having to wear my jacket in my room, but it is cold. Four, four fifty, five hundred, five fifty, six hundred, six twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, seven hundred, seven twenty. Why did I do that? Seven twenty, seven thirty, seven forty, seven fifty, seven sixty, and seven sixty five. All right, so we're going to start with my personal money. I give myself a hundred and fifty dollars, so I'm going to take out. Three fifties for me. One, two, three. And I knew there was something I forgot to get. I needed some shampoo. <laughs> I don't have shampoo. Oh, I got shampoo. I don't have the. I don't know. I use one that treats my scalp, and then I use another one for my hair. You know, it needs something with a little bit more conditioner to it to kind of detangle my hair, and I forgot. So that is that, and so I'm going to take $50, and this is going to be for my household money for the month. And the wallet that you see I'm using, this is a Savvy Sense wallet. I have been using these for, let's see, I want to say at least four, four years I've been using those. This one, my, the pink one my son bought. Um, and the next thing I need is I need to add another $45 to the laundry money, 20, 45. So I'm not sure when that shopping center will get some, um, get power again, but, um, everyone that I know is on that side of town. So, and everything in that area is in red on the power outage map. So 20, 40, 65. So I have a total of $65 in my laundry envelope. And so I'm going to put that in that one. And the next thing is restaurants. Restaurants is going to get $40. So I'm going to give myself two 20s. I feel like I forgot some. Do I want to give myself two 20s? Oh, I know what I just did wrong. See, I can't read. <laughs> I'm looking, I'm like, something right. I was supposed to give myself four tens for the laundry. So that way I'm going to take out 10, 20, 40. That was supposed to go into the laundry. That's the way that's supposed to go. So that way I don't have to ask for change or anything. I just hand her 10. She hands me a roll of quarters and then that's just that. Quick and easy. Yeah, I had messed that all up. Now, restaurants is supposed to get 40, which is 20 and 40. And that one, I already had $65 in it, 20, 40, 65. So now I'm going to have $105. 20, 40, 60, 80, 105. And this money is typically for me to eat out when I need to go to like team lunches with work. But I may 
buy something for the house. And so the rest of it, which is 480, is for my groceries. So I am going to spread it out and give myself $120 per week like that. And I don't know if I got any more paper clips out. Got a little container here of paper clips that I can use. And so groceries tends to be the one where I tend to overspend. So I like to have out what I need and what I don't need. I keep in a paper clip. This is just some coupons that I have. And when we run low on something, I'll use my coupons. Um, but yeah, I'm only supposed to spend this much when I go into the grocery store. And if once I hit that, I know to stop when I'm trying to take money out at the cash register. So I need to put something back. And so that is it for the cash envelopes. I am done. Thank you guys for watching my video. If you haven't had a chance, like the video, subscribe below, leave a comment, um, and let me know how everything is going with you guys. I hope that you guys were not affected by this um, storm that had passed through. It kind of makes me really sad to see that some people still don't have utilities. I know what that feels like. And so my prayers will be going up for those people. But y'all have a great one. And I will talk to you guys again on Thursday. I will be doing my paycheck number two. I know that's pretty early. <laughs> but I'm going to get that one up for you on Thursday. Um, so that way I can get that out of the way. I need to figure out some stuff with the money. Um, it's getting closer for me to uh, start applying for um, another place to rent. So I've been looking now, it's time to start applying for places. And it is so challenging right now because everything that is out there, it gets grabbed up and, and rented out really quickly. But I'm just like not gonna rush myself with this kind of thing. I'm like, as long as I don't have to continue to renew my lease, my lease here, I'm good, you know, but I will talk to you guys again on Thursday. Y'all have a super fantastic day and see you later. Bye.